Mmm, the sweet smell of Alice. Hey. Welcome back to Sipping with Alize. Um, in 2021, it's been a while since I've made a video. Been, you know, taking breaks here and there. I am back. I promise to be more active on here. And yeah, that's it. So thank you. thank you for still watching if you're still watching. Welcome you guys back to Sipping with Alize. And let's make a drink. But the drink I am making today is one of my classic drinks. One of the drinks that I make for my customers. Classic because this is a drink that most people do like. Um, it's a blueberry lemonade, if you can't tell. I have some lemonade, I have some blueberry, and I have a Patron. Um, it's a blueberry lemonade. Uh, I think it's a classic because everyone loves lemonade. It's a, a sweet yet tart twist to it, and it's even more of a twist because it includes alcohol. Well, I'm going to stop talking and get to the fun part. Like I said before every video, we have to take a shot. So I'm going to take a shot of Alize. Alize, stepping on Alize. So let's get started. Um, I did have a shot glass that, stays, that said stay golden, but um, I'm still working on it. I got an L here and I got a half of an N. Um, so uh, once I figure out how to make these words and stuff stay on here, um, sipping on Alize shot glass is coming soon. Ooh, 2021, no more stalling on the shots. Just take it back. I do that because it's Alize, so it's not that bad. I'm over cheating. All right, so let's get started. So all the things you would need to make a spiked blueberry lemonade is alcohol, whatever you're choosing. I am choosing uh, tequila. We got some Patron. What you're gonna need is some type of blueberry flavoring. I personally like this uh, blue raspberry syrup. I got it from Walmart. It's a nostalgia brand. I got it back in the summertime where they were selling like snow cones and stuff like that. So I hope there's still more there. If you cannot find any uh, any type of like blue raspberry blueberry syrup, you can use. Uh, the Kool-Aid Blue Raspberry, actually Blue Raspberry Lemonade. If you can't find this either, because I have realized this is kind of hard to find sometimes. Sometimes it's there, sometimes it's not. So you can use any type of blue raspberry, blueberry flavoring that you want to use. Make sure you do also add lemonade. You can use actual lemonade juice. You can use lemonade powder like I'm using, or you can use actual real lemon. I'm just using the powder because when you make things in bulk, this saves a lot of money and time. So using actual lemonade juice or squeezing lemonade. So I don't got time for that. So these are the three things you need. What you also need is, I prefer to drink it frozen. You can drink it on the rocks, but I do prefer to make it frozen. So this is what we're gonna do today. You're gonna need some type of blender to make it a nice slushy. You're gonna need some ice. What you're gonna do, once you got all these things here, that this thing of ice, I have my magic bullet. What I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna go ahead and add some powder in here. I usually just add one scoop. I like to make my drinks really sweet. So you, when you're drinking it, you're not thinking like, oh, like, it's not too strong. Like, it, it tastes like alcohol. I can't finish it. I'm gonna it all day. Like, I like it to taste like juice. And I like that because it's like dangerous. Like, oh, it tastes like juice. You're thinking like there's no alcohol in here. And by the time you're done with your drink, you don't feel that drink. And that's what you get from underestimating my drink. That's why I like them sweet because they're enjoyable. You, you're able to drink it without like being like, ugh, it's too strong. Because I hate drinks that are too strong and they don't taste good anymore. So we're gonna do this add much power as you want. This is about like a almost half a full scoop of that. Today, I'm not going to be using this uh, powder. I'm actually using this. Sometimes I do add both, but sometimes I do forget to add sugar because you're going to need to add sugar to the Kool Aid packet. And I forget to add sugar and it makes the drink really tart and I got to go back in and throw sugar in there. So I'm not going to be using this today. This is just to show you that these are other options you can use. You don't always have to use syrup. You can use other things if you want to. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and give it a couple squirts. I think it's about like five squirts in here. No, six. All right, and then you're gonna go ahead and put some tequila in here. I'm gonna go ahead and put two shots of tequila. If I have two shots. One. And then you're gonna put the top on is the blender part. Shake it up. And give it a blend. My drinking cups. We're gonna go ahead and pour my mixture in here. Oh, 
<laughs> and there you have it. It's a blueberry, a blue raspberry spiked lemonade. I keep saying blueberry. A blue raspberry spiked lemonade. Well, I want to thank you guys for sipping with Alize. Um, I hope you guys have a great day. I hope you guys tune in. I hope you guys go ahead and try to make any drink that I've made before. I'll see you next time with a new recipe.